I swear. I'll have an idea for a video that I've been thinking of making for months, and just when I'm about to make it, it becomes the prompt of certain mysterious happenings that are going on. I'm not unhappy about this at all, but I want to assure you that I'm not a professional Letter 15 responder. So I hear the pace good. There's this psychological theory that says that bad dreams are your brain's way of training you for scary situations in your real life. I certainly relate to this theory. When I was little, I used to have dreams about things that everyone is afraid of. Falling from high heights, monsters. I remember, for instance, when I was about four, I had a dream about a creature called a stomach who ate people. And I particularly enjoy this because there's a poetic device called synecdoche, which means substituting a part for the whole. In other words, you would say, get your butt over here instead of get your whole body over here. And calling a monster who eats people a stomach is a perfect example of this. I dreamed synecdoche as a four-year-old. Who knew I would grow up to write poems? As I got older, my nightmares and anxiety dreams adapted to my lifestyle, so they mostly revolved around school. One dream I remember particularly vividly is showing up to high school on the first day and getting my schedule, only to realize that all the class names were extremely long and convoluted, like what did the medieval peasants put on their breakfast cereal? A gastro history of 1300s Europe. And it was written on the back of a sunscreen bottle, and all the staircases in the school had been replaced by a single spiral staircase that led to nowhere. Since graduating from college, I can report that this type of school anxiety dream has not gone away. I still regularly have the dream where I have to take a calculus exam after skipping class for an entire year. But even more troubling, I've been having new dreams lately that signal the impending arrival of adulthood. Like in one dream I had recently, I had to go to CVS to pick up some cold medication, but the store layout had changed and they moved all the pills to the very middle of the store on this really low shelf and 20 or 30 people were crowded around it. So I had to work my way through all of them to get the pills I wanted. Other dreams I've had recently included helping my family in a fire evacuation, unclogging a toilet, and unclogging a toilet that had caught on fire. The toilet dreams are particularly troubling to me because if the psychological theory holds true, they foretell of some OPP in my future. And I feel profoundly unready to be a dad. But when the time comes, it won't be all diaper changes and putting out figurative fires. Being a dad will have some perks. Like I get to sing kids songs unironically again. When you wake up in the morning, it's a quarter to five, and you just can't wait to come alive, you Wiggle your fingers. No. You stroke your beard. No. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning, it's a quarter to one. Does he have an off button? <laughs> you wish. Next up, he goes in the little bunny foo foo. <laughs> what dreams have you been having lately? Let me know in the comments. Or, better yet, take out your phone record your dream as a voice message, and send it to whatsbehindthesky at gmail.com. I'll combine all the voice responses I get into a tongue-in-cheek This American Lifestyle podcast and send it forthwith to Emery Harrow.